Hey guys, this is Cindy from AOT and this is Stacy. Hello. Stacy's been writing her blog about her journey in the 16 week uh, Pulsar Transformation Program with Allo Training. She's been doing a blog under Kettle Swings Before Wedding Rings. Yes. And so I hope you've been following along. So this is our second video and the reason why we're doing it today is because it's Stacy's check-in. So part of the program, we do a physical check-in every three weeks. We do measure other indicators of success too, which we'll go through. Um, but uh, when it comes to physical indicators, we just did her check-in. In, and we're super excited to announce that she's lost 4.1% body fat and she's gained 2.4% muscle just in three weeks um, on the program. So that's really, really, really great change. And we'll do repeat this process in another three weeks and check in uh, video with all you guys too. So physical indicators are one that we usually get really focused on, right? We look at the scale, we do our measurements, and it'd be great if you did some photos too, because photos never lie and they tell you the right story. But there's other non-physical indicators that uh, tell us that we're on right, right track and we're making progress. So uh, two of the, uh, three of the ones that we want to um, highlight are cravings, performance, and energy. Do you want to talk about those? Sure. Uh, so energy as a primary teacher is something I've always had, but when I get home, I tend to crash. I have found that since doing my workouts every day and eating with the plan that I'm not crashing as soon as I get home. I have tons of energy throughout the entire day and lots of energy to do my workouts as well. Um, during my workouts, I'm finding that I have a lot more stamina. For example, if I'm doing as many reps as I can in two minutes, I'm finding that I can go a lot longer without resting where before I had to take a lot more breaks. Um, another thing I really noticed is that my whole life I have always craved sweets. This week for my YOLO meal, I picked marble slab ice cream and as delicious as it was going down, I felt so sick afterwards that it almost wasn't even worth it. So it's interesting to me that those cravings don't really match how I felt afterwards. So that's definitely new to me. And that's definitely a lot of people on the Polster program experience. So their go-to foods now become foods that um, um, they have adverse effects or long-lasting effects afterwards. And so it becomes a question of, hey, did I always feel like this and just didn't notice it? Or, hey, why am I feeling like this now? So what's one thing you've learned now that you didn't know before? So you've tried uh, lots of different diet programs before. And mm -hmm. why is this one different? Um, whenever I tried diet programs before, I always thought I had to cut things, cut carbs, cut fats, and I've learned now that that's actually not the case. I need to pair the right carbs with the right fats at the right time. You need all three of those things to perform better and feel better. So that was definitely a light bulb moment for me while reading through all this stuff and planning my meals. Yeah, and so we, uh, she's able to submit her meal plan every week, so we go through it and make sure she has the right portions and the pairing and the timing of all the different nutrients. Um, but it can easily uh, be wrapped up um, that in social media when you're reading through it, and now there's the, the, the paleo and the ketogenic diet and all those sorts of things. It can be easy to eliminate mm -hmm. certain groups and feel like, hey, you know, this is what's gonna uh, get me what I need, or to go on a supplement-based program versus learning how to eat properly um, to see if that's the way you're gonna achieve your results. But this is about long-lasting body confidence and body awareness um, that's the journey that we're on so weight loss is just a byproduct of that journey so can you tell everybody what a typical uh, snack is you really like this one snack this muscle mousse I'm telling you it is the most delicious thing ever it's plain Greek yogurt you mix in a little protein powder and sometimes I add a little bit of cocoa and then I put a bit of fresh fruit on top with some almond butter which has quickly became one of my favorite things ever um, that is my go-to snack every morning it kind of kicks the sweet cravings and keeps me going until my next meal and it's super delicious because it's got your protein your fats and your carbs mm -hmm. all in one meal so it's a no-brainer there and um, post-workout you've learned now about the importance of post-workout nutrition can you give them an idea of what that looks like for you um, ground turkey has become a staple in my fridge where it really wasn't before um, and sweet potatoes weren't really my thing either so post-workout for me is usually around dinner time so I've figured out different ways to make foods with ground turkey whether that be meatballs or meatloaf or lettuce wraps and um, obviously with some sort of carbs sweet potato has been my favorite um, and obviously a veggie of some sort asparagus has been on sale which is exciting so that's what I've been having lots of lately Good, and when it comes to mindset, uh, when we look at specifically about uh, our mindset around exercise, sometimes we can like dread it, think it's not for us, we're not in good enough shape, we're not ready for this, we just need to lose weight first. Uh, what do you think about your, like, your overall approach in starting the program about exercise? 
Uh, well, I used to view exercise as like this task. I have to do it, I'm dreading it, I don't wanna do it, but I'm gonna do it anyways, cause I have to. And I've really found that that's changed. It's become a part of my routine. Even this week, I wasn't feeling so good, my back was hurting, um, and so I decided to skip it. And then I didn't want to, like I felt like that was still something I needed to check off in my day. So I did it anyways, and I feel good after that. That dread is kind of gone. It's just a part of my day. They usually say it's the first 10 minutes is the hardest. Once you can convince yourself through the 10 minutes, yeah. the rest becomes a bit easier. And when it comes to an online program, that's a pretty new concept for a lot of people. So can you kind of describe what your experience is about online uh, programs for people who have hesitation around it? Um, I would say, although it is online, you're in contact with Cindy anytime you need her. And sometimes I feel like she's in your head even when you don't think you do. Um, <laughs> for example, last weekend I had had a drink with dinner and I was feeling really kind of weird about it, like maybe I'd broken this rule or something. Um, but Cindy had sent me a message and we kind of talked about it and I realized there's nothing really to be feel bad about because I had made up from, or I had cut carbs in another way in order to make up for it. So it wasn't a bad thing and without that conversation I might have been carrying that guilt when I really didn't need to. It was no. silly. There's room for a glass of wine. All right, well, and that concludes our three-week check-in. We hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you continue to follow along on the blog, Kettle Swings Before uh, Wedding yes. Rings, mm -hmm. um, and follow our journey with Stacy. You can follow us along on Facebook under All Out Training, um, on Instagram, Stacy's Instagram too. And yeah, thanks, Stacy. Talk soon. Bye. <laughs>